what's up ladies and diggers how you guys doing today it's a saturday sunny day a perfect day to hold the watch and hold the rolly a perfect day to make it check out even though it ain't made for checking out oh my god it smells like fucking rancid sewage right here I stopped by the last drop liquor. I gotta buy me a pro club real quick. Oh shit, I think they're out of pro clubs. Do they have pro clubs? Pro uh, pro clubs? The shirts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you, man. <laughs> Computer repair. Dude, they got like some fucking Windows 98 computer painted on the side of their building. What kind of computers are they repairing? So we're going to be heading off to the side of San Bernardino today. Heading off on the, uh, towards, I guess you could call it the, Re the Rialto Colton area. And, uh, because there's a lot of weird little fucking boonie spots out there. And a lot of weird little boonie spots I've yet to explore. What the fuck is this? Community garden, that shit was dead. Oh, that yellow prelude right there. That's exactly like the prelude I had when I was growing up, except it wasn't fucking gross ass, unclean teeth yellow. It was that sexy SI red. And it had that dope sunroof, and I had the fucking windows limo blacked. And then I had a nice 15 inch sub in the trunk. Oh man, that was like the most dopest little jam mobile to cruise around in. Literally one car that I really wish I still had to this day. See, every car I get, it has to be stick shift because... I don't know, I guess I guess my mom was dope when I was younger because she bought stick shift cars. And my mom, when I was, um, I think I was like 14, 15 years old, she took me to a, a Target parking lot. And she taught me how to drive stick shift. And then, you know, as time went on, I grew up. I started, uh... You know, I got my car, so I got one, I think, my first car from, yeah, from her. That was my, um, my first car, my Prelude, where it was, like, my car, and I'm not, like, using my mom's. <laughs> and, oh, man, that car lasted me all through high school, and I, I kind of missed that car just for, like, digging off and bumping some slappers. Literally bumping slappers. I bet the outside of the car sounded, it's always funny, because subs always sound good only to you. Cause when you're, when it's outside the car and less shit's bolted down and you have that shit set up where it ain't gonna make sound, it's gonna be so rattly and shitty from the outside that it's gonna be like borderline ridiculous. Oh, we're by the Mila Cafe. Remember that Mila Cafe, the place where uh, Taco Bell stole their taco recipe? I think that's what it was, something like that. <laughs> I think it's this, yeah, look at it. And then I think this is the original building right here next to it. Fucking beautiful right here. Oh, there's a museum in that train station right there. Like a fucking train and history museum. Should see if that shit's open today. Oh, no, the light turns fucking. You know what? I'm gonna play the cheapo depot route and go like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this little number right here where I go like this and make a little U turn. And then I'm going to do this number where I pull in here and go, hey, well, auto repair, alignments, rim repair, mufflers. Okay, I don't need none of this. So I'm going to go ahead and then proceed out the exit. And then we're going to go like this. And then, boom, I just avoided the light. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm like fucking veering over with my Chia over here. That's called the Baker turn right there. It's a pretty, uh, pretty historical term, pretty historical thing to do, actually, but, um, yeah, if you guys didn't know what the Baker turn was, then, uh, there's a full-blown tutorial right there. What the fuck is that? I want to see the museum. I want to see the train museum. I think it's only open, like, two days or something like that, though, so I don't even know where I could park. No public parking. This is reserved spaces. S CAG only. Colton Crossing. A history. Well, where's the damn fucking museum? I'm trying to get some museum action. History Railroad Museum. Right there. One hour. <gasps> Don't go to 
dummy dice. Let's go see some cool fucking museum artifacts, yeah? Is that an every weekend thing? $10 and you yeah. can take it? Yeah. And it's like in a pass you just slide and you get back on? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's actually not bad at all for no. 10 bucks. No. It would take you like 30 bucks in gas to do that, like just one way probably. Yeah. They charge you for parking. All right, so right here, it looks like you got, I didn't even know they did this. You got like little tabs on the hats that says who everyone is, a baggage man, a porter, conductor, agent, and look how well made these things are. It's so badass. And the conductor with the big gold one there. You guys wouldn't believe it, but this train station is extremely like, um, like a lot of history through here and like i said there's that um angelina jolie movie that there's a scene where she's in this train station even because it still looks old school so they're able to use it it's pretty cool wow so i was talking to those people outside and apparently they do a 10 doll hair and you just you could all weekend long take the train as far as you want like all the way to la if you want go to hollywood ten dollars for the weekend unlimited rides that's so cheap for a, like a weekend pass I'd, i mean that'd be good for a day pass i don't want a weekend pass all these old cbs motorola's man motorola's been in the game for days created by don and marietta white may 20th 2004 look at that it's literally a dope ass model of the place. Damn, look at joint time card. So whenever you smoked a joint, you just time stamped whenever it was. You'd be like, three, 327. And then write your thing down. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Switch land made in the Milwaukee road. I was so nervous to walk around here with my helmet on because I mean, it's gotta look like tacky. I can't lie, it's gotta look sketchy. Some dickhead with their helmet on in a museum. I was like, hey, you mind if I bust some uh, film ropes? Oh, look, there's the arrowhead that's on the mountain, right by where I always ride on the mountains. Arrowhead Springs Hotel Number Three, built by Seth Marshall, 1905. The third Arrowhead Springs Hotel was built in 1905. Bought by Hollywood Consortium in 1930 and promoted as a luxury resort. Yeah, it's all kinds of shit here. Let me see if I can get close enough for you guys to see it. Then you guys can just pause the screen. Right here we got old flasks where uh, they put some tequila, some whiskey, and the conductor would keep it in his uh, left breast pocket. He'd pop that out, pop the cork, take a fat swig of that bad boy, and continue trucking down. Oh, and then we got, um, I heard, I looked up this place actually. Damn, they got like fucking fire axes down there and shit. I heard that, uh, the San Bernardino Fire Department came here and donated all this. Pioneer Fire Company. Dude, that's so well made. Look at that. San Bernardino Fire Department. 1907. Look at those dudes. That is so sick. There's their patches. I love our patches for our cops and our firefighters and shit out here. Right here we got a... Uh, I think these are old pictures of San Bernardino. Look at this. San Bernardino didn't look much different back then, did it? Just way more beautiful and cool because all the... Everything made was vintage and handmade and... Elsinore, Marietta... Mentone... Wow, this is like like a lot of Southern California history. Current San Bernardino Depot to the 1918. Was like a sketch of it, all barren land. It was just this, like no shit. There's like Red Dead Redemption esque looking shit here. It's so sick. I don't know what this is. Train departures of Third Street Depot. What is this guy? I guess this was like the little control deck they had. And they got shirts and DVDs right here. And then I go, oh yeah, this is all mailbags and shit right here. And old, like, chests and stuff. Like, you can see how well made this stuff is. Besides that leather strap that's pretty much all dicked off. To Stephen Shaw. Damn, a 1929 picture, Al and the Sun Ironworks. 368 Third Street. Man, I wish I could, like, see more pictures of, like, Wild West I'm gonna get. That'd look cool as fuck. Oh, we got some old fucking rifles here. 
William Bill Holcomb from the mid late 1800s. That's so sick. Guns belonging to early pioneer of San Bernardino Valley. Wow, these are really their weapons. Look, you can see him holding it in that picture. Yo, that is so fucking cool. There's nothing cooler to me than like like history and a picture of like the old like the old picture of somebody using an item that's like actually in your face. It's something cool about that. Like it gives you a you have like an aroma of presence of the history there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. Look at that dope ass. Dude, is it like a bird house? But like an OG one from back in the day made dope as fuck. Wow, that's San Bernardino. D and Second Street. So this is like downtown right here. There's the courthouse that's still there today. Third Street. 1903 steam locomotive bill from ATSF depicted the right engine built in 1903, scraped in 1953. Bill presented J.D. Lister in 1964 upon retirement after 45 years of service. Bill was donated to the museum in 2014. Oh my god, that thing is fucking solid. That's so fucking dope, dude. And right here you got the Looney Tunes cart. Or the... <laughs> or Wildy Coyote. <laughs> Wildy Coyote and Roadrunner did that shit nonstop. Meep meep. <laughs> Dude, those wheels are so solid. Like, this alone going over you would fucking cut you in half. Holy shit. Look at these stunt dudes. Look at these stunt dudes. Dude, they gotta have some sort of a... Yeah, there it is. The trains. It says, please do not judge. I used to be in love with this stuff. Look at, look at the metal track. It's like a legit train track. It's like the real thing. Dude, this looks like the train station in Red Dead 2. And look, there's a fucking little pistol. It's a Colt. Dude, that is sick. This is San Bernardino Red Dead. Like, no shit. I think there's a real train station in here somewhere. This is 75 bucks platform scale. I'd put that right in my living room. That's so cool. 75 bucks. Oh, this is the actual train station right here. Holy shit. Look, it literally looks old as shit still. Literally, that's all the old decor. Look at look at the detail in the lighting. Like you feel like you're in the 20s in here still. It's so cool. Like even the doors. I never realized how much of this place was like preserved in its natural state. Oh look, there's a big old Metrolink fucking model. That's what I always see through here. Damn, that thing's made good. Dude, why do we these damn engineer firemen? Oh, what the fuck? They have firemen that are on the damn train. And look at those dope ass keys. Dude, I love keys that look like that. That's so cool. More dildo chests. Damn, why isn't this turned on? I want to see this thing going in circles. Wow, they did a good job making this look like San Bernardino Desert. Like, that literally all looks like fucking shrubs that's in San Bernardino. <laughs> Oh, that is so fucking cool. I'm sure the batteries are just dead or something. Dude, model trains are fucking dope. Some people, like, they, like, mortgage their houses for fucking model trains. Not, I don't know if that's true, but I'm sure somebody out there's done it. Dude, this model is so well made. Dude, some fucking real detail and dedication went into this thing. Look at that. That is just too fucking wicked. Corn syrup? Damn. I wonder if that's just bad for you. It's on a big ass tanker like that. Then I'm a wooden one? Damn, that's so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. Dude, look at That's what they had back then. Black Label? What is that? Johnny Walker Black Label. From way back then. Dude. They even had Queer Enough Ice back then? They really had Queer Enough back then? And then County something? Wow, I didn't know they had queer enough. The kite shaped track. There's a kite shaped track? Oh, is it this? Map of the eastern loop of the kite shaped track. Ah. I see, said the blind man to the deaf dog. Dude, look, it's Wild West as fuck. Look at that. Dude, Red Dead San Bernardino. 
I would love to see a section of the city preserved in Wild West format. Bill from the USS San Bernardino. Dude, these bills are huge. Wait, there was a USS San Bernardino? That's, I didn't even know that we had something like that. Damn. Look at that greasy ass head. As you get all tore up. Oh, look at that guy. Look at him and then her. She just got out of that Santa Fe train men. <laughs> look. <laughs> the Santa Fe train men. They're in there running train. And that's the result of running all kinds of train. Look, he's over there whispering to her that he left her asshole fucking gaped open. And he's over there like with a, a whelp. Don't know what to tell you, sonny. wonder if this lamp was like inside the trains or something. Oh, look right there. It's like a smoke thing. That's where they did the coals and shit. Dude, look at that wrench. It looks like the wrenches that those enemies used in Spyro 2. This is fucking dope. These are like OG shop tools right here. <laughs> Civil Defense Air Raid Siren. I'm assuming it was com air compressed right there. And then we spun something inside and made the sound. City of San Bernardino. Oh, look, you can see where it was, right there. This is fucking cool. What's this? Like a big-ass fucking... Oh, this must be like the big compressor for the air raid siren, yeah? Oh, look, you can see the damn horns and shit. It's just probably blow your damn eardrums out of their sockets. Let's go see if we can go outside and watch a train go by like a dumb dickhead. What the fuck? Santa Fe RR San Bernardino. Special... Officer AT and SF RY. What the hell? Special Agent Santa Fe Police. Damn. They had Railroad Police that fucking far ago. That would be a sick ass looking badge to have. Oh, damn. Look at the big old conductor room. Holy shit, that's sick. Look, it's all like running and stuff. 547 switch. Oh, do these like switch the damn co like tracks? Dude, you probably have to be on top of your game. You probably couldn't go to work stone doing that job. You'd be over there fucking switching tracks and making damn trains collide into each other. Sudabaker. Tally ho carriage. <laughs> Carrying a bunch of tally hoes. Gas lamp used on the streets of San Bernardino. Wow. Imagine me riding around and just seeing those on the side of the road. Holy shit. Horse shoeing. San Bernardino wagon and carriage. Oh, what the fuck, that poor horse. Getting all kinds of horse. Dude, they put fucking gross ass thought stockings on a horse. That's sad. Stand behind the yellow line, not all trains stop at station. Oh, you got a beautiful view of the front up here. Oh, I can actually go up this. I can use the exercise. <laughs> You know, someone or multiple people have jumped off up here. That's why they have all this fucking caging around it. <laughs> I've literally never been up here before. This is so cool. Oh, I guess like this is like the second docking station area. And you could um, you just go over this to get down there. I think he said at 2.07 a train's coming. Which is, oh wait, that's like 45, 50 minutes. Never mind. Well, that was a fun little adventure. I wasn't expecting that to like have so much cool little history ropes in there. Yo, look at this door. Oh, I wonder what's behind that. That door looks old as fuck. But yeah, as you can see, man, they kept this shit OG. It's just cool as fuck. Hey, thank you guys so much for letting me run train. You guys have a good one. That was fun. Well, if you guys like this, there's actually a museum I've been wanting to go to here. And if you guys are interested in seeing it, let me know. And it's at the California State University. And um, it's an ancient Egyptian museum. And apparently they got ancient Egyptian artifacts and shit in that one. So that sounds kind of cool. I got this. I got it. Yay. Man, it smells like straight up San Bernardino out here. And by San Bernardino, I mean asshole. So how many of you guys checked out my video I posted where uh, I was able to digitize that 8mm film footage or camera footage and uh, put it up for you? Man, if I get another red light, I'm gonna fucking slap this. So like I was saying, 
I'm sure you guys caught that video where I got that eight millimeter film digitized. Figured we could bring you guys <laughs> through the place in modern days of 2019 and show you just how much that place has changed over the years. See, what you didn't see, I want to give you guys a little behind the scenes action from that video. What you didn't see is there was all this footage that was here, us fucking climbing through this, like you could actually go over that before, and then us fucking around in here, jumping at bushes, this, this whole fence around this wasn't here before either. And then we always used to fuck around that. And then um, the main thing, and I think to this day, all these fucking years later, um, my favorite, and this is the footage that I'm so, so disappointed in. What's that say? Nice Re News San Bernardino. Receiverships empowering neighborhood upkeep. Brought to you by the city of San Bernardino for sale oh shit they like renovated this house and it's for sale and i don't know why though because it's a piece of shit dude i was just doing a video talking about i'm sure you guys saw the video and i was going to show the place in 2019 yes. how fucking stoked were you to see that dude, i'm so mad the cart footage isn't in here from the fucking us pushing each other in this thing man that's when you had that booger though the, the, when you did the selfie? Did I? Dude, how do you remember all that shit? Man, you... And when you said when we brought the PS2 box and we were doing the fall-in, I remember that after you brought that up, man. So, if you guys don't know, this is the one that was busting the chee-chee-chee eh, 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 cheese from back in that. Oh, man, this is so awesome, man. Oh, man. Look at this place. Is this not a nostalgia bomb? Or well, I defeated the purpose of a trash can when I missed. Uh, just think these fucking these kids back in those days were literally jumping in that shit full blown and fucking <laughs> Damn someone got cream pie like a motherfucker right here. Look at that shit That's gonna go ahead and conclude these little choo-choo ropes As always if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the Fuck! Hit that like button and all links will be down in the pinned comment and description below if you guys want to support me on Patreon or get one of my Teespring shirts or any of my other goodies, they're down below. And you guys have a good day and take care of each other and take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys later. And my cunt ain't very big.